So this is a song called Girl Crush that I wrote with two of my dearest friends in Nashville, um, Liz Rose and Hillary Lindsay. We wrote this song one day. It's a funny story because we were, we, we were writing at 11 a.m. with Karen Fairchild and Kimberly Schlappman from the band Little Big Town. We're coming, and they're never late. They're always on time, and, um, and we love them for that. But they always bring brownies, and they're always on time. And we, it was 8.30 in the morning, and I was sitting in Liz's kitchen, and Hillary was still upstairs. She was just getting up. And um, I'm on Boston time, so I'm always up early. And I'm sitting in Liz's kitchen. And I said, what are we going to do? We have a couple hours, but we don't have, like, really enough time to write a whole song probably. And, and she said, I don't know. And so I'm going through my phone. And all songwriters, we tend to keep notes of, of songs, titles in our phone. And I came across Girl Crush. And I said, well, I want to write a song called Girl Crush. And Liz had her back to me. She was making eggs. And she's like, what is that about? And I said, I had no idea. I hadn't thought I hadn't thought about it at all. I hadn't thought about it at all. And um, I said, I don't know. I just like that, you know, phrase. And I think it could be cool. And she's like, well, it sounds really difficult. And we have about an hour and a half to write a song. So that's just a dumb idea. So <laughs> Hillary came down a couple minutes later. And she was sitting on Liz's couch with this old Gibson in her hand. And I said, Hillary, I want to write a song called Girl Crush. And she sang the first four lines of the song exactly as they are. And she said, you mean like that? And I looked at Liz, and Liz gave me this look, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's what we were thinking, you know. <laughs> so that, you know, of course we didn't. We told her, like, we hadn't thought about it at all. But it literally just came out of her. It came, like, she sang it exactly as it is. The, the phrasing, it's in, you know, with this, you know, the tempo's a little off. Not off, but it's a little unique, the tempo, perhaps. Well, not so Left unique. Left of center. Left of center. And, um, and so we just rolled with it. And the, it's a, an example of, A, magic coming out of someone's face, because magic came out of Hillary's face. But also, um, sometimes the songs will know more about what they're supposed to be than, than we do. And if you overthink it, you really can kind of, make it go somewhere it's not supposed to be so we just followed the song didn't you just thought nobody would ever cut the song it's confusing does it make sense we sent it to like one person like do you understand what we're saying and they were like yeah i totally get it and then karen and kimberly showed up and they said what have you been writing and we played them the song and and karen was like that's our song so here it is I got a girl crush I hate to admit it but I got a heart crush He's slowing down Well I got it real bad I want everything she has That's smiling They taste like you. I want to drown myself in a bottle of her perfume. And I want her long gone hair. I want her magic touch. Yeah, because maybe then you want me just.
I've got a girl crush I hate to admit it but I got a heart rush and it ain't slowing 